The city took possession of the last building on Northwest Broad Street, across from City Hall, to make way for the Daylighting Town Creek project. Recently, the Public Works Division has demolished the old Budget Breaks building and the Headlines building. The old Longhorn Liquor building will soon be demolished as city officials took a look at its surroundings, noticing an excessive amount of trash. The first step to the demolition process is to clean the outside up, with the Public Works Division taking control. Public Works has been utilized a lot more on all projects, so this one in particular, Town Creek, uh, we're at the point where we can help with the demo process, any of those uh, you know, buildings and facilities that were purchased along Broad. Uh, most all of those have been demoed by the Public Works. Guys have done a tremendous job. They go by there, we make sure it stays cleaned up so it doesn't look like an eyesore uh, in its current stage before you know, it gets finished through the project. So, you know, we just have a large uh, group of great guys here, good operators and uh, good hard workers, and they do a great job in that. We came out here to meet today to everybody get on board with what the plan needs to be. And, and while the building may not come down ASAP, there's opportunity to clean the side up. The street department's already said, hey, we'll get out here uh, as soon as possible and uh, clean up some of the debris that was kind of left uh, around the site, make it look, look a little bit better than what it does right now. Daylighting Town Creek is an exciting environmental project that will return the underground stream back to its natural condition and add a public recreational area to Murfreesboro, connecting two well-known destinations as well as the Greenway walking path. From uh, the Murphy Springs, which is over my shoulder here, to uh, Cannonsburg, yeah. we're basically opening up Town Creek, which was a creek that was uh, encapsulated in the 1950s, uh, and it is there's some uh, maintenance issues and opportunity from a to, to open it back up into more of a park type environment and in the very near future uh, starting early next year you should start seeing some some construction activity out here opening up that creek